Hello again, welcome to Akron Buzz, where today we're going to learn more about foster care and adoption services with uh, the Summit County Children's Services Board. And joining me on the set today is Brent Height, who is the Home Finder recruiter for that program. Good morning, Brent. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here today. Can you tell us what exactly a Home Finder recruiter does? Yes, I'm lucky enough to work in our community relations department and we help out with foster care and adoption recruitment. So the way in which we do that, we have various methods. We'll have our foster care and adoption information meetings, which are held not only at our agency, but local libraries. Okay. That starts people off by getting people information on learning more about foster care and adoption. Um, it's probably an obvious question, but what's the difference between foster care and adoption? It's a very good question. Foster care is the temporary custody of a child that's in our permanent custody. So in other words, when a child is displaced from their home and we need to find a home for them, that would be your foster care scenario. Okay. When What we do at the agency is we also have foster to adopt and foster to adopt would basically be that you're set up to move forward with adoption if the foster placement works out properly. How old does one need to be to, uh, to foster a child or adopt? You have to be 21 years old to foster and 18 to adopt. Okay. Now is there a certain uh, income level that is preferred to do this? No, as long as you have um, a structure in your own home to support yourself, then that would be able to support the child in your care. Does it ever come up the question of uh, asking and requesting specific ages for fostering children? Yes, of course. Uh, specific ages, genders, even based on race as well. Now, of course, we don't discriminate based on anything, mm -hmm. but if a certain scenario fits better with a person, then we want to make sure that placement works out best for the family and for the child. So in that way, if let's say where our biggest need is, which are kids 12 and older, mm -hmm. if there was a family that was looking specifically to foster or foster to adopt a child that age, that's something we would want to know. Okay. Now, uh, how does somebody get involved in that? If somebody who happens to be looking at this today decides, you know, this is something that I want to do. There's an eight-step process, I understand. Can you run through the process for us? Yep. The first thing you'd do is you'd make an inquiry with us. Just simply contact us. You can do that by calling 330-379-1990. You'd hit option one, and that gets you into an information that will provide to our agency where we can reach out to you. We send out our um, inquiry packets that actually have the foster care and adoption information on them, and it goes through the basics of what we're looking for and, and how you can move forward. Then from there, you'd um, a, a, attend a information meeting, as I mentioned, the foster care and adoption information meetings that we have throughout the county. Um, you also fill out an application. Very general information is taken there. We also move forward with a background check of all the, the household members as well, just to make sure that everything checks out in terms of who you are. Uh, we do pre-service training. That's, we're lucky enough to have that at our agency. We have a regional training center there. And the pre-service training is your basic parenting tips that a lot of people actually would do well if, if you know, they would have the trainings themselves. Mm -hmm. And it's just very helpful to kind of move forward in the process to learn more about foster care. And then, of course, if you want to, the foster to adopt process. Okay. Then we have um, a home study. And, and the home study is just that. It basically is just a detailed interview of what your dynamics are as a household, um, what everybody's personality is in, in that kind of scenario, so that basically we would be able to see how a foster child placed in your care would best fit in to that home. Okay. Now, if, if someone did, wants, to have, uh, wants to go through the process, at, at what point does the child then come to the home? That would be after we send the application to the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services. They are the ones, the state that is, who would approve the application. And at that point, then we could look into placing a child in the home. Okay. Is there uh, assistance that is provided? Yes. Yes, there is assistance for a monthly board check for children that are based in our foster care system. And then there's also for adoption. We actually do not charge any fees for adoption. And there are reimbursements that are part of, let's say, a birth certificate purchase or general things that would needed to be done for the adoption. Yeah. At what point does uh, the uh, potential foster parent get to meet the child that they're going to foster? Does that happen uh, like in a systematic way? Yep. Or is that something that in some cases uh, happens quickly? Or well, it's a speedy process in a proper way. We're very thorough and want to move forward when the family is ready to move forward. But it's nothing that's rushed. We have a pre-placement meeting and throughout we kind of always keep in communication and keep in contact, not only with the family looking to foster or looking to foster to adopt, but also with the children. We kind of let them know where we're going with things and how we're trying to place them in the best case scenario for their own permanency. In your um that seems that you've done this for a while now. How many times do you see uh, 
somebody who is a foster parent decide at what point, what's the time frame that they decide to become the adoptive parent overall? And does that happen frequently? It does happen frequently. Yeah. And as you could imagine, it's basically just getting to know somebody. Yeah. It, just like any other child in, in the community, it's really these children have so many gifts and so many different assets that are just amazing. It's just great to, to know who they are as individuals. And then when they get that right fit in a family that's there for them to provide temporary assistance for you know custody of foster care, it sometimes just leads right to adoption. That's why we do our foster to adopt. It's um, basically a way to set it up so that everybody is making sure they're comfortable moving forward with the adoption process before you actually get there. Okay. Well, Brent, thank you very much for joining us today. Before you leave, uh, one more time for some phone numbers and or websites that people can check out if they're at all interested in, in becoming a foster parent or an adoptive parent. Yes, please call 330-379-1990. That's our inquiry line. And then also visit us at summitkids.org. We're also on Facebook, so Summit County Children's Services is on Facebook, too, if you'd like to follow us that way. Okay, very good. Brent Hyde has been our guest today here on Akron Buzz from the Summit County Children's Services Board, the Home Finder Recruiter, and we thank you for watching.